Cilia. Type of cell is the eukaryotic same. Cell wall is absent. Nuclear membrane is the present. After that, it is the tissue. Tissue organs. It is all tissue organs. It is known as that an organ system. Organ system. It is at heterotrophic, totally heterotrophic condition, and is at parasitic. So, it is explained by that R. H. Whittaker scientist. R. R. H. Whittaker. That is known as Five Kingdom classification, right? After that, uh, it is known as that Five Kingdom classification. Five Kingdom classification. Okay, so <coughs> he explained that it means prokaryotes differentiate between the prokaryotes and uh, eukaryotes. And unicellular organisms are belongs to that protista, and he differentiate that heterotrophic organism fungi. He provide that special kingdom to that heterotrophic saprophytic organism to fungi. Okay, next plants and after that animalia. So it means in Monera he include that only prokaryotes. only prokaryotes right in protista unicellular living organism unicellular living organism before that so protista unicellular organisms are present in for example you take that chlamydomonas Chlamydomonas. So, Chlamydomonas and uh, second one is the Chlorella. Before that, they are belongs to the plants. Okay, after then, both are belongs to that uh, protista. They enter the other plants, but they are belongs to that protista. Same as in animals. So, what are that? Amoeba. And second one is that uh, paramecium. Amoeba and paramecium. So generally, before R. H. Victor, they are belongs to animalia. Now this amoeba and paramecium belongs to that uh, protista. Okay. So these are that plant protistians. These are that plant protistians. So these are that animal protistians. It is that objective bit. What are that plant protistians and what are that uh, animal protistians? Plant protistians are Chlamydomonas and Chlorella. And animal protistians are Amoeba and Paramecium. They are that uh, animal protistians, right? <coughs> so he explained that first one is that Monera. First one is that Monera, prokaryotic organisms. Prokaryotic organisms. What are that uh, prokaryotic organisms? First one is the Archaebacteria. Second one is the Eubacteria. Third one is the same it is all you back to having the cyanobacteria. <laughs> After that, mycoplasma. After that, actinomyces. 
we studied in protista we will study in protista so archaebacteria eubacteria including the cyanobacteria and after the mycoplasma and actinomyces this three living organisms are included in that monera by rh whitaker scientists right so in this what is the first one archaebacteria archaebacteria generally these are that uh, oldest are primitive oldest are primitive prokaryotes primitive prokaryotes right so after that generally they are grown in a harsh habitat so what are that uh, halophiles 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 means generally the grow are grown in salt regions okay second one thermo acidophiles thermo acidophiles thermo acidophiles means hot springs hot spring means what is the meaning so at that place it has that uh, high temperature it means acidic region so they are known as that hot springs they are not thermo acidophiles thermo acidophiles means so they are able to grow at high temperature and acidic regions they are known as the thermo acidophiles they are known as that hot springs and some are grown in marshy soils okay so they are known as methanogens so this three are included in that uh, archaebacteria so generally this prokaryotics are, are grown in the different region different uh, harsh habitat and adverse habitat or uh, harsh habitat harsh habitat harsh habitat means what is the meaning so they are able to grow in salt region halophiles so they are able to grow in hot springs thermo acidophiles and they are grown in marshy soils they are known as a methanogens so so they are responsible to survive in that harsh habitat by the presence of uh, okay so it means branched chain bits generally the cell wall is uh, cell wall is made up of pseudomurin it is objective bit pseudomurin instead of that peptidoglycan generally in the prokaryotes generally in prokaryotes cell wall is made up of peptidoglycan you know that peptido glycan peptidoglycan instead of the peptidoglycan so <coughs> in archaebacteria cell wall is made up of pseudomurin okay so it is a differentiate between the cell wall material between that uh, okay archaebacteria and uh, it means general bacteria or eubacteria in eubacteria so generally in that bacteria cell wall is made up of the peptidoglycan but in that archaebacteria cell wall is made up of pseudomurin it is a differentiate of uh, cell wall material right after then they are grown in the different harsh habitat it is responsible okay to survive in that uh, harsh habitat by the presence of branched chain lipids branched chain lipids due to the presence of branched chain lipids archaebacteria are grown in uh, different uh, regions right next <coughs> so some methanogens are also present in that gut of ruminant animals gut of ruminant animals methanogens are present methanogens are present so what are that such type of organism what are that buffaloes and cows in buffaloes and cows so in the gut of uh, they are known as gut of they are known as ruminant animals so <coughs> some methanogens are present in the gut of ruminant animals so such like that buffalo and cows so they are responsible for the production of methane gas 
from dung of animals from dung of these animals they are known as that uh, arche bacteria generally these methanogens are anaerobic bacteria it is a objective big anaerobic bacteria they are producing of the dung of animal that is known as the biogas biogas or it is also known as a methane gas it is that objective bit okay mz bit and anaerobic bacteria it is also that mz bit okay so that is known as that uh, arche bacteria right after that an uh, arche bacteria next second one is that u uh, bacteria in u bacteria generally they are that most abundant organisms most abundant organisms are u uh, bacteria right so these are the most abundant organism they are grown in the different uh, habitat u bacteria so generally grown in the different regions okay different uh, host habitat the most abundant organism okay it means in a handfuls of soil hundreds of bacteria are present so they are grown in the different regions showing of that so it is a the comp they are the very simple structure but complex behavior is complex complex behavior but structure is simple depend on, it means they are grown in the different regions for example they are able to grow it means a high temperature and the thickness snow deeper layers of soil deeper layers of soil and acidic region okay they are grown in everywhere it means cosmopolitan in a distribution so after then so bacteria it means so based on the shape so they are divided into four categories morphologically simple simple based on that simple morphological character based on the shape so they are into divided into four categories for example it is the spherical shape bacteria so this spherical shape bacteria is known as that cocci after that rod shape bacteria so this rod shape bacteria is known as the bacilli so after that spiral it is known as the spirillum next comma shaped bacteria so this comma shaped bacteria is known as that vibrio okay spirillum so they are also known as the spirochetes flexible spiral bacteria is known as that uh, spiral spherical shaped bacteria they are appear spherical shape so bacillus they are known as that uh, rod shape okay so singular it is known as coccus plural it is known as uh, cocci bacilli it is known as a plural next singular it is known as a bacillus same as spirillum so they are known as the spirochetes so these are that uh, spirochetes okay spirillum spirillum it is that known as that uh, singular plural is known as that spirilli or spirilla right so after then vibrio vibrio it is known as that 
सो कामा शेप जिस कामा शेप बैक्टीरिया इज नोन एज विब्रियो विब्रियो इट इज नोन एज अ प्लूरल विब्रियम इज नोन एज अ सिंगलर राइट सो दट इज नोन एज बेस्ड ऑन द शेप दे आर द फोर टाइप्स स्पेरिकल शेप रॉड शेप स्पाइरल शेप एंड आफ्टर दैन कामा शेप बैक्टीरिया ओके राइट आफ्टर दैट स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ बैक्टीरिया बैक्टीरिया स्ट्रक्चर इज द सिंपल फॉर एग्जाम्पल इट इज अ बैक्टीरिया शेप स्ट्रक्चर यू टेक दट इन बैक्टीरिया शेप स्ट्रक्चर दिस नोन एज द सेल वॉल इट इज नोन एज द सेल वॉल आउटर लेयर इज नोन एज ऑल्सो हैविंग दट ग्लाइको कैलिक्स इट इज नोन एज दट ग्लाइको कैलिक्स आफ्टर दट सो इट इज नोन एज दट सेल वॉल आफ्टर दट दिस देन दिस सेल वॉल इज मेड अप ऑफ पेप्टोडोग्लाइकॉन it is made up of mucopeptide and muramic acid after the cell wall what is the next one cell membrane cell membrane is involved in it to form that folding like structures so this folding like structures are known as that uh, mesosomes they are known as that mesosomes this mesosomes are performing the different functions mainly involved in the respiration just like that mitochondria in prokaryotic cell it is the objective bit so what is the similar structure involved in respiration in prokaryotes like mitochondria in eukaryotes so that is known as that mesosomes they are participate in respiration process in bacteria mesosomes are present only in some bacteria okay so the mesosomes are also performing that uh, different functions so what are the functions cell volume is increase okay so by the cell uh, cell membrane is extensions they forming of the different uh, okay folding like structures lamella okay so this lamella like structures are known as that uh, chromatophores this chromo chromatophores are present in photosynthetic bacteria performing that uh, photosynthesis right after the mesosomes so inside that it is known as the cytoplasm all the cell organella are absent except to that uh, ribosomes for example these are the ribosomes uh, these ribosomes are attached to that uh, plasma membrane these are the ribosomes right so 70s type of ribosomes are present right after that only it is that genophore is present so spherical shaped of that double stranded dna spherical shape that double stranded dna is present so that is known as spherical shape dna spherical shaped dna it is also known as a genophore it is also known as a genophore right so this <coughs> genophore this genophore having that spherical shaped dna it is involved in that replication process it is involved in a replication process okay so that is also known as that uh, genophore or bacterial chromosome next only that after then what is the present plasmid it is that self replicable spherical shape small double stranded dna is known as that uh, plasmid okay so that is known as a plasmid remaining all organs are uh, absent in okay in eu bacteria right so that is a uh, simple structure it is stores food material in the form of poly beta hydroxy butyrate pbha it is a objective bit poly 
बीटा हाइड्रॉक्सी ब्यूटरेट राइट आफ्टर दैट सो इट मींस फ्लाजेला आर प्रेजेंट दे आर एक्सटेंशन फ्रॉम दट सेल मेम्ब्रेन सो दे आर पार्टिसिपेट इन लोकोमोशन प्रोसेस right so that is known as that u uh, bacteria structure after that so this it means uh, structure is the simple but behavior is a complex so complex it showing of uh, metabolic extensive of uh, metabolic diversity it shows extensive metabolic diversity right it shows extensive metabolic diversity in that extensive metabolic diversity so it means they having that uh, mode of nutrition is the different so in the mode of nutrition in that mode of nutrition <coughs> some are it means some are photosynthetic autotrophic and chemosynthetic autotrophic photosynthetic autotrophic or chemosynthetic autotrophic condition <coughs> okay some you bacteria are photosynthetic autotrophic and chemosynthetic autotrophic so they synthesize food material from oxidation of inorganic substance oxidation of inorganic substance so it means they are involved in the recycling of mineral elements by the releasing of energy in the form of atp so what are the recycling of mineral elements nitrogen phosphorus iodine okay and also that uh, it means so magnesium so they are involved in the recycling of mineral elements nitrogen phosphorus iodine magnesium and iron right so they are also known as that uh, okay recycling of mineral elements most of that uh, chemosynthetic autotrophic bacteria involved in recycling of mineral elements after that most of the bacteria are saprophytic and parasitic right it means heterotrophic condition heterotrophic condition but that the effect on that human beings on human welfare for example you take that in the lactobacillus lactobacillus producing of the lactic acid then milk is convert into that curd milk is convert into that curd after then rhizobium bacteria rhizobium bacteria so this rhizobium bacteria fixation of atmospheric nitrogen to that ammonia or nitrates ammonia or nitrates okay so they are present they are <coughs> it means symbiotic so it means a symbiotic association to that uh, root of uh, leguminous plants that is known as the rhizobium bacteria okay it is a fixation of uh, atmospheric nitrogen and some bacteria are involved production of that antibiotics okay so this all are that uh, okay bacteria saprophytic condition and the heterotrophic and the some are parasitic condition okay and some are symbiotic condition so this symbiosis is known as the rhizobium bacteria fixation of uh, atmospheric nitrogen from that atmosphere so this atmospheric nitrogen to that ammonia or that uh, nitrates so after that so they cause diseases so in that what is that meaning it means in the plants citrus conker <coughs> and the 
and that animals okay the effect on that uh, for example in farmlands farm animals and pets are also okay affected by the bacteria and some di causes diseases so in a human beings also for example tetanus cholera typhoid tuberculosis okay it means diphtheria right so this all the diseases are caused by that okay so it means that bacteria in that animals so these are that citrus conkers means for example it is at a citrus plant so they are forming that spherical less shape like structures on the leaves that the brown spots are spread to that uh, okay fruits so they are that spherical shape rough okay so drops like structures are rough spherical sh shape like structures known as that uh, conkers they are appear in that citrus fruits they are immature falling of fruits okay so by that uh, janthomona citri bacteria citrus bacteria is caused by janthomonas axinopodis pv citri okay <coughs> after that blight of rice 